A great example of a company that's adopting the PC model is SGI. SGI's had fantastic expertise in graphics and high performance computing. And so we're very, very happy uh, that they've chosen to take all of that expertise and build it on top of the PC. In order to give us a sneak peek of some of the ways they're doing that, I'd like to ask Tom Furlong, who's the Senior Vice President at Silicon Graphics, to come on out and give us a look. Hi, Tom. Hi, Bill. It's great to be here. What we want to do is we want to give you a sneak peek at Silicon Graphics' new visual workstation. I think you're going to be pretty impressed. We've been working on this stuff for a long time with yourself and with Intel. And now we finally can uh, give you a look at, at the power it can do. And I think you're not going to be, be able to believe your eyes. What you see is, on this first demonstration, is a uh, model of a 3D workstation that's sort of floating in space. We've put a chrome texture on it, so it's sort of reflecting uh, around the uh, different images of a restaurant that it's in. <laughs> and then we've got our flat panel display. Now, going into that flat panel display, what you see is a video stream. It's you and I mapped onto that flat panel display. And uh, for most companies, a, a demo like this really taxes the system. It would be, you know, the final grand finale piece de resistance. <laughs> for us, it's our screensaver. <laughs> but look what happens when you take that 3D powerhouse and you put it to work on 2D or on video. What you can see is uh, a very large Photoshop image, four megabytes here. Um, well, let's blow it up to full screen. On this display, our new Silicon Graphics 1600 SW. Yeah, that's it. That's an incredible LCD. I've never seen one like that before. Well, it's uh, really state of the art. 1600 by 1024 pixels, full color runs at 30 frames per second, allows you to do video. Um, it's just, you know, just a real powerhouse. Um, it's also got an all digital interface, so a picture in memory gets to a pixel on the screen and never gets converted to analog. Mm. The net result of that is you get color calibration made really easy. So what you see is what you print in color. And that's what you print on film. <laughs> oh, here we are. I'm expecting those transitions to show up in PowerPoint Transition Library next. You bet. OK. <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> so here, what you see is the incredible power of video. This machine operates fast enough that video is just a series of, of uh, 2D frames that are all put together. <laughs> so we can take the same capabilities and apply them that way. So Bill, you want one of these machines in your office? <laughs> I'd love one. Uh, give us a sense of what kind of price range these will be. Well. Um, the price point for the features used to be about $100,000. But as you say, the PC model really uh, tries to bring this capability together. We're going to be able to bring this capability out for under $4,000. Amazing. So let's take a look at what a designer would do. A designer currently renders in, models in 3D but renders in 2D. So let's look at the 50 bad ideas we had about how to design our product, and then we'll show up with a good one. What you see here is the power of real interactive 3D graphics. That's a marble floor. There's a picture on the display. Those are lights flying around. This is not a movie. This is uh, realistic 3D graphics. Now what we're doing is we're able to take and you know, change the light source, and we've mapped our video screen on top of that. And our video screen is being reflected in the floor. And it's upside down, just like it's supposed to be. <laughs> So this is, this is the realism that allows somebody to design something and see it well before it's ever been produced. It's an incredible feat. And the only, up until now, only the people who have designed the, the most uh, complicated things have been able to make use of it. But by bringing this capability to NT, we'll be able to expand that market broadly. 
Well, it's amazing to see that all running on a PC. How quickly will you be able to get this in the market? Well, we're going to announce it uh, just after the first of the year, and we'll be shipping in January. Incredible. Yeah. That's really... So we're in that phase right now where we're able to uh, take a look at you know, what a designer has done. We're looking out for bugs though still, but there's one bug in the system that we really want to make sure that we highlight. That's the uh, new Beetle from Volkswagen. The new Beetle was designed entirely on silicon graphics machines. And people were able to build complex models like this and with a handy cam, take a picture of the street they want to see it in that environment of and drive it down that street. You can see our video being you know, mapped onto the images there. It's things like this that have caused automobile companies around the world to figure out that it, you can take a more than a year off of the transition going from the design studio to the driveway with utilizing all electronic capabilities. So let's pull it all together. What we've got here is we've got a 3D cube spinning in space. We've got two of those four megabyte Photoshop images on there, rotating in real time. We have two QuickTime movies, which are running directly off of the disk and coming onto the system, and we've got the live video feed. It's performance like this that we're able to bring to the PC platform and bring onto the NT operating system. And what we like to think of it is, is we're bringing silicon graphics magic to mainstream markets. Well, it's great to see the best of your work and the best of ours coming together. I can't wait for that to ship. Thanks a lot for coming and showing it to us. Thanks so much.